So when you left school, you did you go straight to Kettering College or did you go straight to get a job in hospitality? What did you do? When I well, left school, um, I had a job as a message boy in Roseburn and I had a second job in the Ellsley House Hotel being a commie waiter and I really quite enjoyed it because it was quite upmarket. It was a very elegant kind of place. Yet the sort of place you had some genteel ladies and gentlemen actually lived all the time in it. And I remember you had to polish the silver and the candlesticks. It was kind of traditional, but I really enjoyed it because it gave you a kind of taste for the better things in life. You know, how you, you experienced it maybe more so than I was brought up with. Then I went to, I was at Castle Hill School of Catering Bacon, 15, 16 at the time. And I was there for a year and then from there I went to Napier College and did my city and guilds. I had great, like, great experiences there. Through the college, I worked in Holyrood Palace when the Queen was in residence. We had a lot of kind of immature fun when I think back at it and a lot of laughs. The Queen, you said you cooked for the Queen. Did you see the Queen? Oh, well, I, actually, quite by accident, I was I had a beer tent. I thought it was a bit hot in here. I went outside on the lawn at um, Holyrood Palace and about 50 yards away from me was a Queen with her two corgis and I thought, I better not be here and I went back in again. <laughs> and a lot of time we're there and Duke of Edinburgh came, we're cutting potatoes up for and we're having a laugh and we're chucking them at one another. Totally immature, but Duke of Edinburgh comes walking through with his hands behind his back like that. And I have to say, it would have almost given me a laundry problem. You got such a fright, you know? I worked for Manny Peggy's in Perry's for a while when I left college. And then my dad said I had to get a proper job. The first proper job I had was in um, Carlton Highland as a commie chef. And by that time I was about 17 or 18. And I remember the chef saying to me, look son, you're very welcome to work here, but if you're going to work here, you're fit enough off. And I would never forgot that. It's something you really couldn't say to anyone nowadays. But uh, I did appreciate that at the time. And I took reverence from that. And I worked there and I had a good time there. And then I moved on from there and I worked for Incoop Scotland, the Maratha and Grangemouth, the Strathern and Kirkcaldy, Roman Barn came and that was somewhere, oh, some places. We went in as management team and emptied the management out and all the staff, and so we went in to run it. Roman Barn was one of the most unhappy fortnight of my life there. And then for a long time I was in the woodside of Musselburgh, and that's where I left to do the weddings and um, function catering, and that was quite great, great experience. And I, I lived in there, I had good fun there, I learned a lot there, and I probably still do my weddings the way I, I was taught there. That's what you did, and the, the, the procedure, and the top table guests, and the lineup, that's what I learned there. Then from there, I went with the brewery, still with the brewery. I worked in the Kenilworth and Rose Street, and the White Cocaine Rose Street. Then I went back to the Kenilworth and Rose Street, and that's where I met my wife. 